when I was a kid, one of the biggest things that got me excited about actually watching a movie was watching the movie and then watching the behind the scenes. I'll never forget the movie that got me into that, which was Spider-Man 2, which was Raimi's second Spider-Man. The 10-hour special edition, which I still have from when I was like 10 years old. Why don't video games do this? Why do we not get to see the behind the scenes production? Why do I not get the option to pay more to see all of the various different things? Maybe give me a, a, a playthrough or, or some thing like to, to, to guide the wireframes to adjust something or maybe cue the lighting or understand what developers go through. I would pay more for that. Would you pay more for that? Well, Matt still wants to be sold on it. So tune into the discussion and let's see if I can sell Matt on my idea of a behind the scenes video game special edition. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. So, without further ado, you are trying to sell me on a concept here that I am not convinced on. Um, so one of the things that uh, uh, buying uh, movies or DVDs, Blu-rays, all that. Right. Um, it, for, for a very, very long time. Actually, we can go all the way back to VHS back in the 90s. Some of the VHS had this. It was a little more annoying to watch because it was, it was either in front of the movie or after right, the movie. Right, right, right. You know, because of how VHS worked. But a lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, the conversation around gaming for a very long time is, um, do we go above $60 or do we go under $60? Or Well, I mean, games have actually been above $60 in the past. Now, I think that comes with a certain amount of uh, inflation in uh, adjustment. Uh, if you look at the um, cost today of like an N64 cartridge, it'd be about 80 Today, today, um, uh, uh, no, not because of the technology. It actually be less. But if you, there was, um, but my my idea here is this. So I mean, games have. But my point is that games have actually fluctuated from the sixty. Sixty uh, seems to be where we're locked at, and that's why we're getting the season passes, the but, DLC. But we have even been locked at there as inflation has changed. And my idea is this: I can when a new movie drops, right? I, I can right. go to you know, the local Walmart or Best Buy, and I can buy the two or three disc holy crap edition. Now, I can buy just the regular Blu-ray for 30 Or if I want to spend 50 to $60, depending on the movie, I can buy the two or three disc holy crap edition that gives me a lot of the behind the scenes. Okay. That where the directors talk to me. They tell me their thought process. But I, I've making. seen a lot of games do that whole behind the, the, the at least the uh, director's commentary thing. That much I've seen. Valve has no, done no, a lot no, no, of no. that. I'm not talking about director's commentary. Okay. I am talking about sitting down, interviewing with a director, interviewing uh, the, the, um, the, the, the cast, the, the animation cast. Maybe there was an animation that they were like, man, this one animation. Okay, okay. And it wasn't so, even a uh, okay, so, okay. So, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And so, yeah. but one of the things that I've always loved about movies is that you get to see how the movies come together. I always reference Spider-Man 2 and the 16 puppeteers that it took to make Doc Ock. No, films, that's that very was a full. That, that's very And, and obviously you reference Aliens. I, I do. Uh, it was, um, God, it was like 30 or more. It might have been even as much as sixty. Um, uh, yeah. I'll have to look obviously. that up then, to make the Jurassic Alien Park, Queen Park, and then Jurassic Park. Well, uh, that was not puppeteers. Obviously, that was no, full no, blown but, animatronics. animatronics. But, what I'm but saying yeah, is, but you got to see how those came to life. You get, you get in Lord yeah, of the I, Rings. You get, you know, in Lord of the Rings, you get Viggo Mortensen and Orlando Bloom, and 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 and, and all of these characters sitting down talking about their experiences shooting these scenes to, oh it's you like know, listening to uh, understanding these characters yeah no and it's like i i think sorry. that if game devs sorry. would like triple a game devs specifically triple a i'm talking about triple a here yeah yeah okay if they would like to really push that boundary instead of giving us bigger maps which ties into one of the videos we just did recently yes instead of saying well bigger map is better let me know your voice actors. Let me know your dev team. But, but the let point is, you're charging. Your you are team. you. I want to see, let me see your storyboard artists. I, I don't disagree with any of this. But under what you're proposing here, you want to charge people for this. 
This is not included in the $60 base edition. You're advertising mm-hmm. right now a $90 deluxe edition is basically what I'm understanding, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because guess what? I bought the Lord of the Rings regular edition. So did I. Yeah. Yeah. And they were $20. You know how much the deluxe editions were? Almost that, 60 when they came out. Yeah. Almost because I also bought them. 60. Yeah, I also bought them. Yes. Yeah. The reason I have those ones over there is because they were given to me 10 years later. Hey, look, it's the same ones I have. 15 years later. By the way, guys, we're talking about the deluxe extended editions and the fancy bookcase. Yes, where you get all the behind the scenes, all everything. And so that's what I'm saying is it has been commonplace to go if you just want to buy in movies. movies, Yes. But in games, keep in mind, gaming. What's the difference? Art is art. I don't disagree with your principle, but the culture around the media is very different. In okay, order, so I got a question. In order to sell gamers on this, you've got to give them a little bit more than just behind the scenes because I'm not going to okay, lie. Okay, so then the why sell a concert edition of a, of a musician? Why sell a concert of a musician more than a DVD, more than the CD? Cedar's $12. CD's been $12 for a long time, 20 bucks. But you want to go buy a DVD? I've looked them up. They're any more from 10 to $20 more than the CD itself. Why? Why? We're getting the same song. I don't like it when you do that because you get that cocky look on your face that says I have won. No, uh. no. But I needed to do something here. There is. I'm sorry because. And it was actually you that convinced me of this. Oh, really? Gaming what I say. is an art form. And it yes. was actually with Uncharted. You actually convinced me of this with Uncharted. I was like, well, game, game. You no, know, you convinced me of it with Uncharted. Between you the, me with, with the characters and the music. Yes. And, that, yes. and you know yes. what, dude? It's not Mario I would anymore. 100%, no knocks on Mario. I would pay extra to see those people sit in a chair talking. You know, this, this, this one scene. But so many of these are actually unlockables in the games to begin with, right? Is that um, now Uncharted notwithstanding. So but- you can actually see Nolan North sit in a chair with a camera on him like we saw in like the Lord of the Rings special edition. You can on YouTube for free. Oh, on YouTube for free. Yeah. So you mean they're actually releasing that content and actually hurting themselves, hurting the workers who are actually putting 60 to 90 hours a week? No, because I actually do wow. have a problem with this. Ma- this way is- to make me feel like a dick. No, no, because right. this is one of the things <laughs> I have a problem with. Because here's the problem. I did not like the story of Last of Us 2. No, nor did I. But the visual artists, the sound artists, and the mechanic artists. And the actors. And the actors worked their asses off on that. And you know what? Guess what? Although I did not like The Last of Us 2. Yeah. If they put out a deluxe edition where I can see all this, the special stuff I want to see, I will buy it. Yeah, actually, I wouldn't mind seeing that too. Because I would love to see the actors talk about encompassing their characters, the directors, the no, storyboard that, I, artists. I going, can give you that. This is how we visualized the scene. This is what we wanted to get. Maybe Again, they still they did it with Disney. If you buy the Lion King special edition, which was $10 more, you got to see some right, of the storyboard so drawings, but I'm, it was more money. Why? And all I'm, all I'm proposing, all I'm right, proposing right, here right, is right. that all you have to do is put a camera on this. Oh, I, I, I don't disagree. And, and this would be low what? impact for the production side. It, it but here, here's, if I may, if I may. And it would, if, help, it would help the people who are working if, the 60 if, if to I 90 may. hours. If I may. Long. No, you is, may not. <laughs> Set myself up for that one. <laughs> you did. Uh, you did. Um, but, uh, but no, comments down below. No, you may not. Please and thank you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, you got to do it now. If you fail, if you're this far into the video, you got to do it. No, you may not. Please comment below. <laughs> anyway. Um, no, it's the... <laughs> no, it's... Okay. I, I don't hate what you're proposing from a content perspective, right? Mm-hmm. But we are talking about an industry that is already trying to charge us uh, $15 for a skin. Right? I'm not, so, talking, I'm not talking about that. So are you saying that we would replace that with this? Because... And the skins not can go back to... Not all make- games charge the same. Some games want to charge $15 for a skin. Right. Other games, again, when we're getting into some of the more story-driven games, I do not believe RDR2 did that. I do not believe that the, the last RDR, of us two def- RDR2 has a full microtransaction-based they, economy they do, in their online mode. They do have that in their online mode. But the base game, what I'm talking about is a totally different segment of content 
that people could buy as special editions. I'm sorry. Do you remember when Halo 3 came out? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Do you remember how much... I apologize for this. The holy fuck edition cost. What was that like? Wasn't that two fifty? Hundred and twenty dollars. Oh, two twenty, 200 not 250, two fifty. But I was close. Yeah. And it came with it. And it, you got a master chief figure. You got the helmet. You got a special case. You but, but I didn't learn anything about the actors. Got an art book, didn't you? Uh. I didn't because I didn't spend the money. <laughs> I wanted to. Don't get me wrong. I wanted to. Actually, I wanted so did to. I. Actually, so did I. I yeah, I, yeah. But I just couldn't. But you know what? I find it more valuable as a person who goes, how do these guys do this? How do they? Because one of my most enjoyable experiences with movies yeah. is, is watching something play out and going, how did they do that? No, no, uh, that, that, that is scene, absolutely true. And, then, and I watch, and like maybe the animation team. Especially they, the stories that come out from it, like uh, Dr- Jurassic Park, right? Yeah. Um, the, the T-Rex uh, animatronic that Anybody would react to the... Knows the T-Rex animatronic is... I, I've not watched Jurassic Park in its entirety. Heathen. In Heathen. My brothers watched it when I was a kid. I think I passed out. I was like Heathen. five. I have. I do, however, know about the animatronic. T-Rex. But that, that T Rex, because of all the fake rain they were pouring on that thing, right? It would short out, and the thing would move on its own. But you wouldn't know that without the behind the scenes, or the fact that director's commentary behind the scenes when the T Rex comes through the glass on the uh, the Jeep thing that they're yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was not supposed to happen. How about this? How about one of my how about one of my, my, my favorite moments in the Lord of the Rings behind the scenes when um what was it? It was uh Vigo Mortensen, Orlando Bloom, and the body double for Gimli. One had a broken rib, one had a sprained ankle, and I think the other one had a separated rib, one had a those, sprained those ankle. Guys, those guys those guys gave everything for that film. But, and you watch them go through this. Or when Vigo Mortensen broke his foot kicking the helmet. Yeah, this is actually a or, fun story. Go ahead and tell that story real quick. Okay, so in the scene yeah. in uh, uh, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, uh, they go, they find the burning orcs and Vigo Mortensen, and they find, you know, they think Merry and Pippin have died. Vigo Mortensen kicks the, the orc helmet in that scene. Now, when he kicks that helmet, that took four takes. And the reason being is because of the where they wanted the camera shot and Vigo Mortensen kept kicking the helmet and it was closer and closer to the camera and he wanted it like right over the camera, right? Right. Like Jackson wanted it right over the camera. A plus the emotional on, response. And, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And on the fourth kick, Vigo Mortensen broke his toe. And so when you see Vigo Mortensen or, or Aragorn kick that home and he goes, ah, and he hits the ground. He actually felt his toe break. It hurt like hell. But he drove it through the scene. And so now when I watch that scene, you can I, appreciate I appreciate it. So more. And again, what I'm asking what I'm asking is, are we willing to pay it, more to get this? I sort would, of I would be willing to pay more to find out more about the voice actors, maybe the direction, the story writing. Maybe. Hey, guys, this game wasn't easy to sell to the people who who paid for it. That actually happens. That does that, happen. That does. And, but guess what? We hear about it in news stories. Yes, we do. I would like to hear about it. And I would. I From would, the people who I make would it? I pay extra. Me personally, I would pay because I appreciate it when. And you can always do the display, you know, the views and commentary. You know, the views and commentaries of the people talking right now are not directly re- related to. Oh, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, 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 bleah, blah, blah, legally. You know, we all know yeah, nothing. Yeah. I, but, but what I'm saying is because when I play a game, especially Uncharted. I have gone and watched some of the behind the scenes. And I sit here and I go, but why couldn't I just beat the game? But why, why would we pay for this instead of having this be an unlockable bonus? Why do we pay extra for it in movies? Why do we pay extra for it? In, why do we want to rip off certain artists, but not other artists? Why is it okay for some artists, such as musicians, to charge more for their DVD exclusive, which is just the same song, just their same album? Maybe some songs we heard from some other albums. Why is it okay for movies, for, for people, for actors, for directors, and people who work on movies to charge more for this, who are still artists? Mm-hmm. But it's not okay for, game, for, for the people who develop. Again, art is art. Yeah. Although when I yeah. am not the type of person to believe that all art is equal, because I do not. They but, have their strengths and weaknesses, yes. But if we are going to hold, if we're going to have certain levels... Why is it okay for some artists to charge for the behind the scenes, but it's not okay for other artists? 
Well, because those artists aren't charging us 15 bucks for a skin. We're not talking about the $15 for a skin. This is an Oh, entire... if, you don't, if you don't think that... No, 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 no. Somebody no, no. like EA won't double dip on this. You're crazy, because they will. Oh, no, and they will. But the side of this that I'm thinking of is on initial gameplay. These right, are the special right. editions. Yeah. This isn't a, you can just go buy it a year after the game's been out. No. This is a... Oh, spec- so you're, you're, you're going with the... Uh... This is within one to two, possibly three. So false scarcity. <laughs> no, not false scarcity at all. Because guess what? I can't go buy my Spider-Man 2 special edition. I can't yeah, go buy my... 16 guess years what? old. I can't go buy my Iron 1 special edition. Guess what? Two months after it was out, I couldn't buy the Expendables special edition. And I love the Expendables. As a guy who focuses on story, I can give a damn. But what I'm saying is, why is it not possible to do a limited release? Because we've seen it with gaming in the past. Again, Halo 3 special edition. Holy but crap. Basically what you're saying is... They wanted $220 so for instead a helmet. Of- I couldn't even wear. Fuck you. I couldn't even wear it. I watched the swearing. Anyway. Uh, I wanted to wear it. I, I actually, I, I very you, much, sir, I share, I, I share. I wanted to be the master chief, and you couldn't wear it. Tone that it was down, the buddy. thing. It was, t- t- tone it down, buddy. Tone it down. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry. This is my inner 16-year-old coming out. No, I also it wanted to wear the helmet. I also I like, wanted I to wear to the helmet. I need to save up money. I've got to figure out a way. I'll beg, borrow, and steal from my parents. Like, what do I got to do? And they were like, you can't wear the helmet. And I was like, screw it. Wait, why can't I wear the helmet? No, no, I don't. I don't disagree, but <laughs> I don't disagree. Star Wars: but, The Old Republic did the same thing. Is if you pay no dollars. collectors and special editions are very much a thing. And but this is what I'm. So many about. of them are a ruse for just you know things you're not ever going to use. Uh, limited no, in-game like, bonuses. What am I going to use from finding out Vigo Mortensen broke his toe? So, but what I'm asking you is, and this is uh, very important because I feel like the games industry will double dip on this. Um, is are we talking about replacing those BS, you know, skins and first day bonuses with this, or are we talking about in, you know, no? Because because here's the thing: most games are coming out to. with skins already for that sixty dollars. Right. Well, if I'm you talk- pre-order, stuff, yeah. <laughs> well, it, certain game devs. What I'm talking about is give this to the to to the pre-sales guys. Give this to the first day, guys. Give this to... But you still haven't answered my question. Is is that is this in addition to the monetization system we have in place, which is microtransactions, pre-order bonuses, this and would be season in addition, passes? This would be in addition to release price. Okay. Okay? This is not all of the time. This is from this window, from release date to they can pick a window. And it has to be physical. Okay. Okay. Which would actually drive sales for people to actually go to places like GameStop and things like that. Get a special case and whatnot with it, too, if you're going to mandate physical. From release date to two I would argue it it does need to be digital because you see that with movies today. You can buy that, you know, as you quoted, the holy fuck edition from Amazon um, for, honestly, the same price as the physical one. Uh... I've and you it. get the same features. You do get the same features. So you do need that digital thing. It cannot just well, be no, physical. Okay, so but but my but my thing is is I see the game the gaming industry if they keep up with this whole sixty dollar thing, even I, with the microtransactions, it's not sustainable. Well, it's not sus- need, that, that, was, that is an entirely this, different this, issue no, no, because no, no. no but, but there's a lot that ties my into that idea to help with the sustainability to keep getting the stories that we want. Because all it takes is an extra camera. The sustainability thing is an entirely another discussion that we'll no. have to have. But and no, and we will yeah. have to have it. Yeah. This was just one of my ideas to say, maybe this could help. I think the first thing that we need to look at sustainability is length. As we said in a recent video. Uh, yeah, yeah, we actually said that in our uh, Bigger is Not Better video, which that link will be in the description. Yes, it will. Because it is, in. Yes, it does. But, but what I'm saying is... I think ultimately, I would really love to see. No, I'd the love to see this too. Of the artists, and I, because and we already pay for it in other media. 
If I, if we, I may, all, all of us. If I may, real quick too. Go for it. Is um, we always talk about here in the games industry the amount of crunch that a lot of these developers are, and how especially a lot of the corporations, the publishers don't like to treat them as people. So this would be a very good way to get the uh, audience on board with that, and get to know you know the lead level designer, the lead uh, level artist. Artist number two, I don't care. Get them on board and get us to know them. It's a lot harder to treat people like shit. And I say this on purpose, if you know who they are. And if the audience knows who they are. And no, and I no, and that's part of my reasoning too. The reason that I care about the Lord so of the Rings. So I like your content. Too. I like your content. I'm not convinced on your uh Maybe not monetization. The price tag. I'm not convinced on okay. your monetization. So guess what? Yeah. Okay, so what if I say instead of thirty dollars more instead of a ninety dollar price tag? Right. What about seventy five? Maybe 80. I, I think 80 would be my upper limit, personally. Like I said, I've seen a lot of movies go for that two-disc special edition. That's yeah. $30 more than normal. I've seen it. So, basically, is I like your concept. I'm not convinced on your pricing. That's where we're at. Yeah, no, but my idea yeah. is selling the concept. Would gamers pay more for this? I would. You know, honestly, after listening to you, I think I would, too. Let us know what you guys think, too. What's your price? Comment down below. How much would you are pay you willing for something to pay, like this? Are you willing to pay I, more at all? I would, if a game is $60, I would probably pay $90, personally me, to get it. Matt, how much would you pay for something like this? 75 to 80, most. Okay, 75 to 80, most. But let us know, because I think that this, because I actually, because I go on, but I, I, I can't find them behind the scenes right away. Right. I have to wait for a long time. Yeah. So let us know down in the comments below how much you would pay to get some of these if you the pay scenes, it all if you would pay it all if this is a good idea and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and don't tell there. ea because they will they'll double dip don't tell ea yeah ea will double dip oh and by the way if you liked what we did here share it with everybody and stick around to the end so you can see if we did some videos in the past that you really like please and, and thank you please and thank you we will see you next time right here on a drink with crazy and cheers cheers everybody Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.